very much, John. That's great. Um, yes, I'll, I'll be very brief. This is the great fun part of my role. My job is to represent the public in policing, make sure the police are held to account, that they deliver the policing that members um, of Sussex residents want across the county. But one thing that um, the residents in Sussex tell me very vocally a lot, or all the time, is that they, they cannot stand prejudice. They want to break it down. And this is what this project is all about. I think for me it brought it home. About 10 years ago, my mother had a really serious car accident. And up until that point, as a family, we'd always enjoyed great health. And uh, part of her recovery process was she had to be in a wheelchair for about four months. And so my brother and I had to take it in turns pushing her around. It wasn't quite as grand as Suchi's, and it didn't motorise itself. And I never realised just how people ignore you when you're in a wheelchair. I mean, literally, we'd push her along, they would talk to me if they wanted to talk to her. And she would sit there and say, but I have a brain, I'm a person, I'm here, um, why are you ignoring me? And then other people would offer to push her around, and they'd leave her in a room and push her up against a wall, facing the wall. And then they'd walk off to get a drink or a cup of tea for her and leave her looking at a wall. And I suppose my awareness became really apparent when that happened. So the projects like this are so important. I, next year, will be responsible for commissioning victim services across Sussex. So if you are a victim of crime, how you get treated uh, by a, a, an organisation, how you get looked after, will be very much down to me to fund. And projects like this are really, really crucial. You heard Mr York say hate crime, uh, the reporting of it. We encourage the increase of it. And that's fantastic. The more people that come forward to tell Sussex Police that hate crime is out there, the better. But projects like this are going to be the ones that really support those people who are victims of hate crime. And um, Suchi and Lucy were showing me some of the artwork that they've done. And there's a fantastic um, poem just inside. I won't read it all to you because I'll let you read it yourselves. Sometimes with poems, they're better if you read them yourself because it means more to you. But the first two lines I think are really, really prominent in this. I have a name, I am a person. And that for me just about sums it up. So my Safer in Sussex fund is designed to help people uh, across Sussex come together in communities, in organisations, to look after victims of crime, to raise the awareness, to support victims as well, and uh, to help drive down crime in their communities and keep their communities safe. So it gives me great, great pleasure to be here today to uh, officially launch the AWARE project. Um, we are now all aware of what hate crime is, and I'm sure when we leave today we'll be able to trot off the five strands as though we were just walking on air. Um, some of you are looking a bit worried with me, but don't worry, we'll make sure you get one of these and you know. But if you suspect anybody that you know who may be a victim of this, give them the encouragement to come forwards, point them in the direction of John, of Lucy, of Suchi and this project and uh, let them know that there is help out there because if they report to the police, they will get supported, they will get taken seriously. I am a person and I do count. So thank you very much and I officially launched the AWARE project. I feel